Hey everyone, welcome back to Mark's Garage. Today, um, nut and bolt check. It's nothing that everybody ever really wants to do too often, but you really should, especially if you're using um, a lot of aluminum and carbon fiber, which most bikes do these days. Parts tend to come loose, whether it's a hardtail or a full suspension bike. If you don't have a, a decent little torque wrench at home, don't feel too bad. Most people don't, but a basic set of Allen wrenches, a T25, uh, will basically cover everything. Most bike parts have a newt meter reading on them. Um, so it's a good idea, you know, if you're not going riding for the day, you're already done, just put some tools to the bike. Go through every little bolt, nut and bolt on the bike, brake levers, shifter, stem bolts, um, another really key one, rotor bolts. These are always the Torx 25. It's a good idea to always double check those things. Under heavy braking, rough conditions, they will come loose. Some of the parts don't have a, a new meter reading as we mentioned earlier, or a pounds per square inch reading, which is common as well. Just get them firmly snug. Uh, if you don't have one of these tools, that's fine. Let's go to the workbench and I'll show you some of your common tools you'll need. It's super simple. So back at our workbench, we've got laid out our most basic set of tools, really. They're just Allen wrenches and a Torx wrench. The T25 is going to handle everything from uh, certain rear derailleurs on the bike, front derailleur bolts, as well as rotor bolts, which is one of our more important features or more important things here to, to, to cover over. Uh, and a basic Allen set with bondus tips, not that it's needed, but this covers anywhere from 2 millimeter up to 10 millimeters. And then a couple of small other hand Allen tools, which are super simple and easy. Uh, you don't have to have all these, but you do need to kind of cover the basics. It would be really helpful. As mentioned earlier, if you've got a basic torque wrench, super cool. It's helpful because you've got Torx, you've got Allens. They all have a required set uh, Torx specification. If you hit the nail on the head, you're just better off. So we've shown you all the tools you'll need. You've gone through all the nuts and bolts in your bike. If you're noticing pieces and parts that are looser than normal, or you're noticing that you're readjusting or retightening these like every week or every two weeks, it's a good idea, especially with like shock bolts or derailleurs, remove them completely, clean them from all greases or uh, foreign objects that might be on them, reinstall some clean new Loctite, put it back together under a proper torque or close to it, and you should be good to go. Hopefully this is helpful. If it's not, I apologize. Crack another beer, sit back, put a DVD in, who knows, whatever. Enjoy your time. Thanks for joining Mark's Garage. Catch you next time.